What up, world? Welcome back to Carter's Way. And we on the big comfy couch. I don't know if anybody remembers that, but I remember watching that when I was younger. I think I'm getting too old. But anyway, I wanted to talk about pride. Now, there's positive pride and there's negative pride. And there's a very thin line between pride and ego. You never want to boost your own ego and blow up your own head and start thinking that you're better than somebody else and, you know, you that dude or you that woman and you the, you the best thing in the planet. Like, you don't want to do that, right? So let's get into pride. Positive pride. Positive pride is like taking pride in how you look, taking pride in in your workouts, taking pride in keeping your house clean, taking pride in into your car or, you know, something positive and you take pride in those things, right? And there's nothing wrong with that. Taking pride in these positive things will keep you going to, to keep things neat, to keep yourself looking good, to keep whatever you have positive going for you, it just keeps you going because you take pride in it and that's how you want to live, right? But this is the thing. As you take pride in those things, you never want to think that you're better than someone else that is not clean, that uh, doesn't work out, or the things that you're not, the things that you're pride, that you take pride in, they may not take pride in. Other people may not take in take pride on how they look and and cleaning and stuff like that but that does not make you better than that person ain't nobody better than anybody i don't care what you take pride in you may look great you might keep the house super duper clean you might keep your car clean you might take pride in having a good job and that's fine it's good to take pride in things but don't ever think you're better than the person that doesn't take pride in the same things you take pride in. Pray for that person. Pray for that person to take to take care of themselves and to keep things clean. Cause those you you don't know what other people are going through and whatever the case may be. So like I said, it's good to take pride in positive things, but never let it get to your head to where you think that you're better than the person that doesn't take pride in, in, in what they do everybody has a flaw and just because you keep your house clean and and she doesn't she might do something positive and you might have a negative too you might have a negative yeah that person doesn't keep a house clean but she's always nice to people yeah you might keep your house clean but you ain't nice to people so what she's so so what who's better than who Everybody's got a flaw. Ain't nobody better than nobody. Okay? Negative pride. Now, in the good book, it says pride comes before the fall. You can have negative pride and it will stunt your growth in life. And you never want to do that because everybody is constantly growing. Everybody's constantly changing. Everybody's constantly learning till the day we die. So for you to take pride at such a young age, I am who I am. If you don't like who I am, then that's on you. You know, I like who I am. But And see, what happens there is that you may not be the best version of what you're proud of. It might not be the best version of you. And you taking pride in that version that who you are now is going to stunt your growth. You can be better. There's, people can always be better. That's why nobody's better than anybody. We all mess up. We all have something that, that is wrong or whatever the case may be. And pride will ruin a relationship with family, friends, and your, and your spouse, your girlfriend or boyfriend. Because picture this, right? And let, let's start with family. I used to go through this and I kind of still do, but like my pride would be like, yo, if they don't call me, I ain't calling them. 
I don't give a shit. They don't want to be in my life. I don't want to be in their life. And that's my pride taking over because someone has to start the calling. It may not be your family. It might have to be up to you to call your family and to start that connection again and that those phone calls again. And that's what's going to that's that's going to put you as being the bigger person in situations. But somebody with a lot of pride sometimes or most of the time doesn't be the bigger man in 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 the situation. Even with uh let's say girlfriend or boyfriend, if you have a lot of pride and your girl or boyfriend messes up, you can easily just be like, well, I don't need you in my life. I'm a man. I don't, I don't need nobody. Um, you know, yeah, you messed up, but I don't need you. Look at me. Look what I got. You ain't shit. I'm the shit. That's you being not only an asshole, but you take you 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 too prideful. And sometimes in boyfriend and girlfriend relationships, sometimes you have to say you're sorry. We all mess up. And if you're prideful, it would hurt your heart to say that you're wrong. It might hurt your pride to to beg someone back in your life. Not beg, but like tell somebody how you feel about them and say, I, I know I messed up. Can you please give me another chance and I, I, I love you or whatever the case may be. A person with a lot of pride, it, it's hard for them to do that and they don't do it. So instead of telling them how they really feel, they're worried about them being less of a man and having pride and being like, yeah, whatever. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't need to say nothing to her. I don't need to prove nothing. I don't need to run over there and, and seem like I'm desperate or something. It's not even about that. It's about you putting your pride to the side and fixing things. Don't take too, don't be prideful and be like, well, I ain't apologizing to nobody. Whatever, it is what it is. Then you start pushing people, nobody wants to be around you. You start pushing people away. Then when you don't have nobody, you're going to be depressed. Trust me. Pride ruins a lot of things. And you don't want to have a big head. Nobody likes that. Nobody likes a person with a big head that that really ain't even that that um like the way you the way you picture yourself you not even like that you understand how can I put it like you your 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 ego and your pride might make you feel better than who you really are and that's why. That's why people who have, who have too much pride, they never grow. They, they're always like, oh, I am who I am and I do what I want. And if people don't like it, then they could go somewhere else. How do you sound? How do you sound? Imagine arguing with somebody who's always wrong that never apologizes because his pride won't let him. Understand what I'm saying? Even with friends, like you start doing a little better than your friends and then you start thinking you actually are better than them. It's like, no, you're not, bro. Like you're doing good for yourself, but you're supposed to encourage your friends to to do the same. Not think that, oh, I'm better than them. They're going over there. They're, they're doing this. I ain't, I ain't messing with them. No, you should put them on and be like, bro, I think you should be uh, working a little harder. I think you should be... Give them good, good criticism instead of thinking you're better than somebody. That could work, and you might patch up things that uh, that need to be patched. But if you have so much pride, you're just gonna let everybody leave. I don't need her. I don't need them. I'm better than her. I'm better than them. And then all of a sudden, you sit in the house by yourself, and nobody want to mess with you because you think you're better than everybody. And now you wishing that you had some family to talk to. You wishing that you had your girl there. Pride cometh before the fall. And if you don't humble yourself, somebody will humble you. Or something will humble you. And you, 
and it's going to hit you different. And you're going to have no choice but to break to break down and, 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 and change. So you might as well do it before you get into all these uh, negative things, these negative situations. Pride gets people killed. And that's that's harsh. But let's say somebody, you know, somebody feels like the man and then something happens to them. Then they come back with some, winds up killing the other guy. Or they wind up getting killed because they couldn't just suck it up and be like, listen, what happened, happened. You know, I got my ass whooped. That was it. People got a lot of pride and they go, well, he whooped my ass. I'm not going to let him. I got to come back with something else. He winds up killing the kid and boom. You know? So I might have got a, a little off the deep end, but I'm telling you, like, Pride could ruin a lot of things. It could get you into situations that you don't want to be in. It could leave you lonely. Um, it could just destroy relationships. All right? So, yeah, like I said, to summarize, um, it's cool to take pride in, in positive things, but never think you're better than somebody else. And don't have pride to where you can't put it aside to fix something between you and somebody else or or to fix anything. You know, never 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 let your pride get the best of you. All right? Especially when you know you're wrong or when you know you have feelings for somebody and you can't express it because your pride won't let you, that's a problem. Don't let your pride take over you. Take over your pride and you control it. All right. And that's all I got for today. So I'll see you guys with another video. Another day.